live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Fame. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. We've got the 70s team and the 2010s team. Now the starting group for the visitors. Havlicek is out there with Frazier. Then it's Kareem. Then there's Irving. And it's Lanier in at the power forward position. Three on the clock. Havlicek bangs home the trifecta. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. Green, green, green. David? Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with the 70s team head coach. This is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys to attack offensively. He feels their success on that end will dictate their success through the game. So, guys, we can expect them to be aggressive from early on. Thanks, DA. Sounds like they're going to do what they can to get this offense rolling. Yeah, they'd like to get out to a fast start, establish a little bit of rhythm and pace right up front. Yeah, I think if they can come out and dictate the tempo, that's to their advantage. Now, here's Frazier following the shot by Kevin Durant. Here's Abdul Jabbar, and he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And when we talk about players who don't mind shooting with a hand in their face, Kareem's at the top of the list. Passes it to LeBron. And here is Howard. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And then where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Free throw good, James. I think, guys, the pursuit of greatness is what distinguishes LeBron James. Make no mistake, he wants to be considered the GOAT, the greatest of all time when it's all said and done. Now, here is Irving. Here's Lanier, and block. That one goes careening off the glass. He gets that one. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Curry passes to LeBron. And there's a whistle. And that's going to go on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's his first foul. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Outside Curry. Pass to Harden. Five to shoot. Floats it up for James. And it's blocked. And they turn over the 24 second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Frazier against Curry. Frazier kicks to Irving. Pass to Lanier. Tries it from 19. Good as the jump shot falls. Havlicek's got five points so far. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Second personal foul. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. At the line for your 2010s team, LeBron James. Two shots. Shooting two. Shoot two. 
free throw good, LeBron. And the 70s team making a change here. Hayes is checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. They're about three minutes into this first quarter. Now here's Frazier. Here's Havlicek. Here's Irving, and Irving throws it down. And you love the quick ups, but then how about that explosiveness on the finish? Irving, man, he just has incredible gifts. Here's Harden. Outside curve, beyond the arc. It's good, the assist that time from Harden. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Frazier dishes to Irving. The pass to Hayes. Here's Havlicek. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Hard work on the offensive glass, paying off with the second chance points there for Hayes. If he's got a shot at the rebound, he's not going to let anybody else take it away. Now, here is Harden. Passes it to Howard. And here is Curry. Shot clock at six. That's good from 17 feet away. Curry's got five now. Well, we talk about Steph's three-point shooting, but the fact is he's a three-level scorer. The mid-range is sweet. The 10-footer. Chalk up two there. Walt Frazier. Here's Harden. Screen by Howard. Harden, no good. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Curry against Frazier. On the wing, Irving. Shoots over KD. And he can't bank that one in. Now James. He has five. Over Hayes. And so it looks like it'll still be the 2010s ball team. Curry with him. Pass to LeBron. No good. That would have tied it. James has gone one of four from the field. Pass to Frazier. He kicks to Abdul Jabbar. To the paint. Here's Irving. And it's Curry with the rebound. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Harden's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Frazier against Kerr. Irving passes to Hayes. Here's Havlicek. Hits the target from 18 feet. Havlicek's got seven. And guys, you got to know who you're guarding. You got to run the shooter off that sweet spot. And for Havlicek, that's anything in the mid-range area. Harden finds Howard. at six. Back to Harden. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. Eight points for him. Now this is the basis of James Harden's game, right? That three-point accuracy opens up every other aspect of the floor and his scoring ability. And here's Frazier. James Harden getting it to go from deep. Frazier the pass to Irving. And right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And the 70s team leads by two. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. Harden surveying the D. 
And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Frazier against Curry. Frazier kicks to Irving. On the wing, Havlicek. And the layup's good off the glass. Now it's a four-point 70s team lead. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the 70s team. They're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooters. You've also got to love the way they've been crashing the offensive glass. Multiple opportunities, not giving up on possessions. Beautiful. So timeout called here. The first for the 2010s team. Outside, Maravich. Inside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, just nice strength there. And then just off with the shot. It's his first trip to the line. Jojo White at the line for two. One falls for White. And both free throws good for White. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Paul kicks to Wayne. Outside Anthony. And they get it. 2010's team with the fresh shot clock. Davis. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. An offensive rebounding, really all about hustle. And with Davis, that's hardly ever in question. The shot's good from Barry. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. And it's Paul with the ball for the 2010s team. They trail by seven. Two points, that one goes. Court vision, intellect, basketball IQ, the masterful distributor that is Chris Paul. And the 70s team with possession. Outside, Maravich. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. Free throw good, Maravich. Uh, and Maravich, the skill set how savvy he is, and then the showmanship that he brings to the table. I, I don't know that we've ever had a guy more creative at the game of basketball. Now White, after the missed three by Carmelo. Out of bounds, it'll go to the 2010s team. In for the 70s team, Dave Cowens. Here's Paul, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Played outside. Davis setting the pick for Wade. Knocks down the three ball. I'd say it's very hard to stay with Dwayne Wade in the pick and roll. His court awareness and decision making allow him to manipulate the defense. Now, here is Maravich. 
for Wade. Maravich, good. Maravich has got five points so far. Paul against White. Paul outside. And the pass to Wade. Takes the three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Wade's got a couple of threes now in the first for the 2010s team. And here's White. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. From the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. At the line for the 70s team, JoJo White. Two shots. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for White. Here's Paul. No points in the game yet for him. Passes to Wade. 151 left to play in the first quarter. Back to Anthony. Davis sets a screen. Shots good by Anthony. Anthony's got his second bucket. You love how calm Mello is in that pick and roll situation. Never seems to allow you to speed him up in any play situation. Barry misses. And that's how you have to defend him out there on the three-point line. Played him perfectly. Here's Leonard. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. 115 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Maravich. They shoot again. No luck. They battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. Four-point game. Davis kicks to Anthony. Leonard on the wing from downtown. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. No hesitation from Kawhi right there. The ball is delivered. He's ready to shoot it. White down low. He's covered by Leonard. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. shot so he'll be shooting free throws here this is his second trip to the line in this one at the line for the 70s team Pete Maravich taking two shots free throw is good Maravich hits them both So it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the 2010s team. They trail by three. Wade against Maravich. The slam dunk by Wade. Oh, stylish slam by Dwayne Wade. Never won the pass or the chance to make a statement. And so here's the 70s team. 
outside Maravich. Six to shoot. The layup off target. At the end of one, both teams putting up some points. The 70s team leads by one. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. close game through the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second and what stands out to you from the 70s team so far in this one well when you control the glass you control the second chance opportunities on both ends and that's how they controlled the first quarter i thought they were the much more physical team Maravich has gone two for five tonight. So with Westbrook on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got Howard. Stephen Curry's out there with Harden. And it's LeBron James. And it's Durant in at the three slot. Now here's Harden. And at the top of the key, Durant. That puts them in the lead. Durant's got the lead up to one now for the 2010s team. This is where James Harden's ability to quickly scan the floor and then find the right window to deliver the pass. So good. So good. Here is Frazier. Kicks to Irving. Pass to Lanier. Pavlicek against James. And it's sent back by Howard. Uh, Dwight Howard at his best, sending it back. Harden the pass to Kirk. Back to Harden. And here's LeBron outside. Offensive rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Frazier. And there's the drive. Lays it up and banks it in. Frazier's got his second basket. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. They trail by one. Abdul Jabbar against Howard. Here's Harden. He's got eight. Just five to shoot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Boy, there is such a punishing physicality to the game of Dwight Howard. Excellent job getting to the free throw line. Shooting two. He's off on the first. At this point for Dwight Howard in his career, it's about being efficient. I mean, we know he can grab rebounds, play defense. He's just got to stay aggressive and efficient on the offensive end. And he sinks the second. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Now Frazier. Have a check outside. Here's Irving with nobody on him. He parries the jumper. Irving's got seven points in the game. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Irving's gone three of six, shooting from the field, 50% so far. Harden way outside. That one, no good. And it's the 70s team the other way. Frazier scanning the floor. Shoots over Curry. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Harden outside. Shoots over Havlicek. That's in the 70s team lead. is cut down now to just two points with that basket from James Harden. And the 70s team with possession. Frazier the pass to Irving. Havlicek outside. Six on the shot clock. They set the screen. 
over Harden. And that one's good from Havlicek. 11 points in the game. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Howard with the screen on Havlicek. And in the 70s team lead is cut back down to two at those points from James Harden. Well, James Harden has run millions of pick and rolls in his career. He is the master of it. Understands what the defense concedes and then goes right at it. Now, here is Havlicek. 11 points in the game. James outside. And that's rejected by Abdul-Jabbar. Frazier kicks to Abdul-Jabbar. Back to Frazier. Havlicek outside. There's a screen over Harden. Here's Lanier. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. Trailing by two. Durant just inside the line. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. Durant's gone one of three on the night. On the wing, Irving. James covering. Havlicek against Harden. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. This is his first free throw of the game. down the first one and team wide they've been terrific from the line here just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next oh free throws good from Havlicek and so Curry will bring it up for the 2010 team four point game James outside Howard with a screen on Abdul-Jabbar. Here's James. It's rebounded by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got six rebounds in the game. Frazier outside. Durant against Irving. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up got to fight over it as a defender you know exactly what that takes it takes energy it takes activity it takes intensity now a timeout call by the 2010s team Irving's gone 4-7 from the field here. Curry passes to James. He dishes it to Durant. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the rebound. Abdul-Jabbar's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pavlicek against Harden. There's a good screen. Goes up from the top of the key. Six to shoot. Out of bounds. It'll go to the 2010s team. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. They trail by six. Outside Curry. Bobbed up there for Howard. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. His entire career, Dwight Howard has been an absolute force on the glass. Nice finish. Harden against Havlicek from about 19 feet. 
That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Boy, the bucket's going to be five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Outside curve. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And it's seven points for Stephen Curry. Crafty, confident Curry can score in there now. Make no mistake. Here's Frazier. He takes it in. And as it goes out of bounds, the 70s team able to keep the ball here. Antetokounmpo checked in for James. And the 70s team making a change here. Havlicek against Harden. Irving kicks to Havlicek. Five on the clock. Shot from the top of the key. That shot is off. And it's the 2010s team taking it the other way. Antetokounmpo passes to Harden. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, what a surprise. James Harden has finished a play with contact and gets a chance for the three-point the old-fashioned way. Nicely done, James. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And the 2010s team making a change here. Leonard's checked in. throw good from Harden. And the old phrase, he lives at the line. That is James Harden, folks. And White kicks to Hayes. Irving looking for an opening. Always going up for the alley-oop here. To the middle. Here's on to Takubo. That gives them the lead. Just simply overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing the muscles he's added to that near seven foot break. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the 2010s team. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long range shot here early on. And their assist total also impressive early creating with the pass and playing for teammates. That's good from out of the Kumbo. White with it. I'm out is called first to the game for the 70s team. And so, here's the 70s team, trailing by two. Here's Irving. That misses off the backboard. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Davis, the pass to Leonard. Curry with it. Popped up there for Wade. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. On the Dekumbo against Irving. Tries the spin move. Great tee that time from Giannis. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. Leonard with the bucket. But Kawhi Leonard consistently efficient with his scoring ability. Nice jumper. And so here's the 70s team. Four-point game. Maravich against Wade. A high post shot. That one wide left. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. Davis with a screen on Irving. Antetokounmpo passes to Davis. Hayes finds White. Contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. 
Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Flynn. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? And the 70s team making a change here. Barry's checked in. And that one falls for White. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for the 2010s team. Davis setting the pick for Wade. Giannis dishes to Davis. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Andre DeCumbo's got three assists in the game. White the pass to Maravich. Back to White. From outside the arc, connects from three-point range. White's got it all tied up now for the 70s team. Andre DeCumbo looking over the floor. The shot by Wade, wide open. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Not typically a three-point shooter, but there, Wade getting his revenge. Wide up top, guarded by Kirk. The offensive rebound, Gilmore gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy put back. And there's a minute 45 left here in the second. Curry passes to Davis and finished off by Davis. But Curry's ability to find an open teammate and put the ball exactly where it needs to be. Such a pretty pass. And the 70s team with possession. Outside White. And Curry pulls it down. From deep three-point range, trains it from beyond the arc. And now a six-point 2010s team lead. And White kicks to Hayes. Back to White. To the inside. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Gilmore's got four points now in the quarter. Man, can you always depend on him or what? to lead you to the right place with that pass. Money. Over in the corner, onto DeCumbo. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Davis setting the pick for Leonard. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Leonard's got the lead up to six now for the 2010s team. Right the pass to Hayes. to Gilmore. It's stolen by Curry. Down low. Here's Davis up and in on the way. Eight points for Davis. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their play. Well, what great game planning. What great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. Wade against Maravich. Defensive effort, and that concludes the first half. The 2010 team out in front as they end the second quarter on a 12 to 4 run. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. 
Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. And so it's the 2010s team with it. And so in the game for the 70s team, Frazier is out there with Haplicek. Then there's Irving. Then it's Kareem, and it's Lanier in at the power forward. Now here's Durant. It's Curry outside. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Curry's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the 2010s team. And the 70s team with possession. They trail by 11. Havlicek, the pass to Frazier. Floats one up. Hits the layup after the sweep pump fake to freeze the D. Frazier's got eight points. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. James. That one rolling around and rims out. Irving dishes to Havlicek. Over Harden. The putback. Not going to go that time. And it's the 2010s team taking it the other way. And here's KD for three. It's good from long range. He has five. Well, it doesn't get any better than this. Kevin Durant's stroke from three-point range is money. And so here's the 70s team. A 12-point game. Havlicek against Harden. They set the pick from 20 feet out, and he nails the jumper. Well, coaches might discourage that kind of look, but he'll take it anyway. Havlicek against Harden to the paint. Here's Howard, and Howard with the stuff. Dwight Howard has made a living off of dunks. My goodness. Two minutes into the second half of play now. And here's Applecheck. He's got 17. Now the pass to Lanier. Right side, Abdul Jabbar. Shot clock at five. Here's Irving. And it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for him this game. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there making the pass nice assist oh what an impressive dribble drive that replay brought to you by mobile one this team needed a spark and boy did they get one with that incredible attack at the rim now here's curry 13 points in the game and right now let's watch that terrific swat yeah quick thinking pays off big what a block A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Curry. Harden with it. Just five on the clock. 70s team foul. John Havlicek. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Curry. Abdul Jabbar knocks it away. And beyond the obvious physical skills, Kareem just has a great understanding for the game. Times his move perfectly to get that shot. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Freeze. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. And one of the very best in our league at getting to the line. Walt Frazier just has that great change of pace and aggressive nature. Always playing, though, under control. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
free throw good Frazier Chris Paul he's checked in for Curry and Frazier drops them both third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by Harden against Havlicek. Harden the pass to Howard. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his fifth assist in this one. And so here's the 70s team. Frazier dishes to Abdul Jabbar. A three ball. And with that, the 2010's team lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from John Havlicek. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Now, here is Harden. 18 points for him. KD on the wing. And there's the call on home. That's his first foul. And Kevin Durant, good for three. Three ball for Durant. And it's Irving with the ball for the 70s team. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating score. David, thank you. Now, Paul. John Havlicek missing from long range. Harden, no good. Pass to Frazier. Abdul Jabbar, a screen on Paul. Back to Havlicek. again Lanier and terrific work on the offensive glass and he picks up two and, and that's a great play on the backboard for him I mean it's what we expect all his second chance points do not come by accident now here's Howard he has seven and the jam by Harden well James Harden will go down as one of the great scorers in NBA history and when he gets his groove going look out folks and the 70s team with possession trailing by 10 Frazier outside. Shot from 12. Lanier, no good. Lanier's gone one of six shooting so far. Durant, the pass to Paul. James looking it over. Back to Paul. Jacks up a three. Havlicek with the rebound. Havlicek's got four rebounds now tonight. Frazier dishes to Havlicek. Back to Frazier. Pass to Lanier. He kicks it to Havlicek. Shot clock at three. Fires from deep. The shot misses. And it's the 2010s team taking it the other way. KD passes to Harden. Howard with a screen on Havlicek. It's tipped. It's stolen by Frazier. Havlicek against Harden. The pass to Lanier. That one goes. Counted. Lanier's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Here's Harden. Drills the leaner. We know this about James Harden. If you want to force him to that in-between game, he is more than happy and content to take mid-range jumpers. Now here's Frazier. Ten points for him. Kicks it to Havlicek. Here's the teardrop. And the rejection by LeBron. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him.
a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the 2010s team. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up. And boy, have they. Well, I also notice, lane. guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. Smart anchor at passes, Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Now here's Anthony. And it's blocked. White against Paul. Now here's White. Back to Mirovich. Walton is screen on West. And with them, the 2010's team lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Pete Maravich. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's Paul. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. For three. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by Anthony. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And here's White following Russell Westbrook's three. White, good. White's got 12. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Here's the 20 Gems team with the ball. Outside Anthony, over Walton. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. He's so fluid on all his shots. No hesitation from Mello on the catch and shoot. And so, here's the 70s team. Eight-point game. White the pass to Lanier. Back to White. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Anthony. Out to the right wing. Howard setting the pick for Paul. Misses the J after tricking the D with the nifty pass there. Ball's not loose. Anthony against Walton. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Oh, great job by Anthony keeping his balance, not allowing the contact to stop him from scoring. Anthony's gone four or seven in field goal attempts tonight. 57%. There's the screen. Maravich kicks to White. Passes it to Lanier. Over Paul. Lanier, no good. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Howard trying to free himself up. Paul with the bucket. Now Chris Paul gets to that floater game at his size. So important to have in your arsenal. And the 70s team with possession. Down by 12. Here's White. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And that's the kind of move that will always pay off, even against tight defense, like he was facing on that possession. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. One shot. And that one falls for White. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. Westbrook passes to Carmelo. A three. 2010's team with the fresh shot clock. And Walton sends it back. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? Now here's Higgins. There's the dish to McAdoo. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Count it. Maravich has got 11. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. They lead by seven. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. No one's ever questioned his court vision. Rose playing unselfish basketball, being the leader this team needs him to be. Outside, Maravich. Back to White. There's 49 seconds left to play in the third. Five on the clock. For the three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up with a 2010 team. It's a 10-point game. Davis setting the pick for Anthony. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And so here's the 70s team. Here's McAdoo. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Walton. Leonard with the steal. Here's Anthony. Boy, once he gets the ball in that close, you've already lost. Anthony will find a way to hurt you. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Carmelo Anthony taking two shots. First one falls for him. You know, Carmelo Anthony, problematic for the defense. He spends so much time at the line, keeps you on a string. And so he makes both from the line. Through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. The 2010s team out in front, up by 12. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So with Paul on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. We've got Durant. Howard is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Harden, and it's Rose in at the point. Abdul Jabbar, the screen. Here's Frazier. And with that, the 2010s team lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Now Harden. Side rows on deep. That shot no good. And it's the 70s team the other way. Frazier the pass to Hamlichet. Rose against Frazier. Back to Hamlichet. Shot clock at six. To the inside. Cowens. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. John Cowens has got his first points of the game. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Harden with it. Outside Rose. Pass to Howard. Over at Pool Jabbar and misses it off the right side of the rim. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. We are still commanding a lot of defensive attention. Howard just keeps his head up and finds the open man. Here is Frazier. Pass to Havlicek. 
Back to Frazier. Three-pointer. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. And here's Rose. Walt Frazier with the triple. Rose passes to Harden. Now Durant. Rose surveying the D. Shot clock at five. Goes back up. And LeBron with a nice bucket inside. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. Uh, just tenacity. That's LeBron James using his length and strength to get to the offensive window. Frazier against Rose. Frazier the pass to Cowens. The 17-footer. Good. He hits the jump shot. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Now a timeout called by the 2010s team. And the 2010s team making a change here. Curry's checked in. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thank you, David. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. James outside. Stolen by Irving. Outside, Abdul Jabbar. Back to Irving. To the middle. Four on the clock. Lanier. That's good. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. And it's Harden with the ball for the 2010 team. Leading by five. Outside Curry. Back to Harden. Here's James. It's hauled in by Lanier. Lanier's got seven rebounds in the game. Irving passes to Abdul Jabal. Here's Havlicek. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Harden against Havlicek. Here's Howard. Over Abdul Jabbar. And there's Howard. That's good on the assist by Harden. And that's now nine points for Howard. Howard's gone four to six from the floor here tonight. And here's Frazier. Abdul Jabbar outside. Havlicek kicks to Irving. Back to Havlicek. Inside. And stolen by James. Here's Harden on the way. Covered by Havlicek. Curry passes to James. This is to Durant. To the middle. And James throws it down. Finished by LeBron James. The king is in the house. And so here's the 70s team. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Abdul Jabbar kicks to Frazier. Feeds away. Bank shot. No good. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Harden the pass to Curry. Shoots over Havlicek. Curry, good! And now an 11-point 2010s team lead. Perhaps no more scary thing for a defense than when Stephen Curry has got his rhythm. Look out, folks. Now a timeout called by the 70s team. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, James Harden. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. 
And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And stolen by LeBron. The finish, and LeBron throws it down hard. Well, just fantastic defense by LeBron. You have to protect the ball, or he's going to swipe it from you with his lightning quick hands. Now, here's Frazier. Havlicek outside. Passes to Irving. And he uses the glass on the layup. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Here's Harden. And it's Harden slamming it down. Wow, James Harden putting a little sauce the finish. Nicely done. Here is Frazier. Pass to Irving. Over Durant. With the putback. It's good on the putback. Abdul-Jabbar's got four points this quarter. I love the determination he showed. They're getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Harden finds Howard. That one falls. That's right. Count it with the foul, Dwight Howard. Go ahead, young sir. Linear. Third personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your 2010s team, Dwight Howard. At the line for one. Free throw good, Howard. And so it's Frazier who'll bring it up for the 70s team. They trail by 14. Harden against Havlicek. They set the pick. Goes up to the strike. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Here's Harden. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. James Harden. I mean, the handle is so tight. The feel for the game. What a pretty move. And the 70s team with possession. It's a 14-point game. Now Frazier. Outside Irving. Lock at six. James with some nice D. And here's Harden for three. It's rebounded by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Irving dishes to Frazier. Back to Irving. There's the pick. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Irving's got four points this quarter. 
pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. A history of great finishers in NBA history, but LeBron will top the list before it's all said and done. Hamp will check with it. Frazier outside. A floater. First team foul. At the line for the 70s team. Walt Frazier at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. confident play we're seeing out of him. Yeah, and the scoreboard tells the story. Harden the pass to Howard. And they recover it. Durant kicks to Harden. Back to Durant. To the inside. Harden dishes to Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And so, here's the 70s team. Pass to Hamlichuk. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. At the line for the 70s team. John Havlicek taking two shots. Shooting two. That's good from Havlicek. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's the 2010s team with it. Outside Durant. There's the pass to James. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Abdul-Jabbar finds Irving. Here's Lanier. Frazier outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. At the line for the 70s team, Walt Frazier at the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. And here is Curry. Harden outside. Back to Curry. It's good again, and an excellent 7 for 8 shooting night so far. 
There's a reason James Harden is always near the top of the assist charts. That ability to distribute to teammates is elite. Now a timeout call by the 70s team. You gotta like what Harden has done in this game so far. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Chris Paul's check in for Curry. Frazier against Paul. And the basket is good. The call goes his way, and we could be looking at a three-point play. 2010's team foul. Dwight Howard, fourth personal foul. At the line for the 70s team, Walt Frazier, one shot. One shot. And so it's the 2010s team with it. 10 point lead. Now, here is Harden. Two to the paint. Here's Howard. It's Kareem Abdul Jabbar with the rebound. Abdul Jabbar's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pavlicek against Harden. They set the pick. Pavlicek, the pass to Lanier. And the lead is down inside single digits. John Lanier's got 13 points in the second half. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. Harden draws the double. Here's Howard. And it's slammed in by Howard. Oh, you can hear that sound. That's uh, yep. the flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Greg, a fierce two-hander. And so here's the 70s team. Trailing by 10. And that one's good from Havlicek. Havlicek's got 27. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is cooking. Passes it to Harden. Harden draws the double. Pass to Paul. Back to Durant. And here's Harden for three. That one's not going to go. And it's the 70s team the other way. Here's Frazier. And it's Durant with the rebound. Harden finds KD. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. 15 foul. 2010's team foul. Dwight Howard. Fifth personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the 70s team. Walt Frazier. Take a break. Two Take shots. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to seven. Frazier drops them both. And great work at the line there to chip away at the lead. A few more productive trips here, and things could really get interesting. And they go to the intentional foul. John Havlicek, third personal foul, second team foul. A 
chance here to possibly put it out of reach. This is when you really need to maintain your focus. And now they decide to foul intentionally. John Hubbard, fourth personal foul, third team foul. First one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. And the 70s team with possession. Havlicek with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Over LeBron. And it's Havlicek missing. And it's Paul with the ball for the 2010s team. Offensive rebound. Howell. It's blocked. Here is Frazier. Pass to Havlicek. There's the three. Nails the tray. The peripheral vision, the decisive delivery. Those are things you love about Frazier's artistry as a playmate. And now we've got the intentional foul. Fourth team foul. Four seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so here's the 70s team. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. So the 2010s team wins it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports Group thanking you for tuning in. So long.